Hey there lovely people, it's Danny from Cotter's Calisthenics. So a while ago I made a video on this channel where I talked about fully that I had attracted the most ideal dream partner that I had been waiting to attract for years and years and years. And if you haven't seen that video, I put a link for it up above and you can click that now if you want to go and check that out if you haven't already. And so many people that watched that video asked me time and time again, how did you actually go about attracting my most ideal dream partner? So in this video, I'm gonna go into full detail and everything that I had done leading up until this point of meeting this most amazing female that had come into my life unexpectedly. So you could possibly go in the direction of attracting the most ideal partner for you to form the greatest type of intimate relationship that you desire. And what I have to say is, this is gonna take a very long time. This is not something that you can just attract overnight for obvious reasons. So you need to be patient and have faith that you can attract the person that you desire. And this is not something that I used to think about many, many years ago, but as I got on my self-development path back in 2013, I started to listen to a lot of different audiobooks and read certain books from people that have become successful in many areas of life and attracted so many things that they had desired. And one of the things that really affected me a lot to actually go in the direction of attracting the most ideal intimate partner for me was listening to a book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, which he actually owns and runs the most biggest entrepreneurial and success magazine in the world. And he's one of the most influential people on me on my own self-development journey. And I remember hearing in The Compound Effect book that he wanted to attract his dream partner. And up until that point, He'd always attracted people that he'd formed intimate connections with that weren't that great whatsoever. So he thought to himself, okay, what I'm gonna do is write down everything that I want within my dream partner and the type of connection that I want to form with them. So he sat down and just thought very deeply into what he actually wanted in a dream partner partner and I actually followed exactly what he is saying and as you can see here the title of mine says the ideal intimate partner I'm currently attracting because if you look into you could say spiritual esoteric things out there this ain't known as the law of attraction this is a universal law that you cannot avoid so rather than being vague and thinking oh I want this in a partner that, 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 and then just forgetting about it and going on with your life by writing it down, it's always there and you're working with the law of attraction on an everyday basis. So then you have a higher chance of actually attracting the most ideal dream partner that you want. And if you look, my list goes on and on and on and on. Like it is so long. And I'm actually gonna read out some of the things. These are very specific things and to find someone that has all of these things within them and they're this type of person, is next to impossible. But I always had faith that I could attract this type of person. So for example, it says, she's open and willing to be in my YouTube videos fully and enjoys it, which she does. She feels comfortable with me taking photos and videos for her to put on social media platforms. I find her very sexually appealing. She has a very high level of health holistically, that she is into or is open to intermittent fasting, that she's optimistic, financially stable, has an abundant mindset, and yeah, like I said, the list just goes on and on and on. And there's quite a few people, when you tell them that to write a list down of what they want, a lot of people will not go into very specific detail and write a big long list like I have, because so many people believe that you cannot attract what they would call the most perfect partner for you and that you're just aiming too high and that you should settle for something less than the best. But I don't see her as someone who's perfect because nothing is perfect and it's just something that our minds create. But I know exactly what I want. So I believed within myself and had faith in something higher than myself, whether you want to call it God, Buddha, whatever you believe in. And I just went about my life and knew that I would attract it at the right time when I was ready. So make sure that you do create a list. 
and be very, very specific. Because if you miss off some things that you truly want within a partner, then you're more than likely gonna attract someone that is missing some of the things that you want that you haven't written down. And what I found was on my own journey, that I did attract certain people that had a lot of these traits, but as I got to know them over a period of time, I found out that there wasn't a lot of the things on my list. And I didn't get to know them as much as I needed to before I went fully on into an intimate relationship with them. So there was times that yes, I did attract people that weren't the most ideal person for me. But what I found is through those, I then even worked out more of what I wanted in my ideal dream partner. So I had to go through all of those different intimate connections that were not the most compatible relationships to form the healthiest conscious intimate relationship that I truly desired. And also obviously on your own path of evolution, we are all constantly changing. So this list will change over time. And if you looked at my list years and years ago, it's way different to what it is now. So make sure that you do update it on a regular basis and new things that you become aware of that aren't on your list Then go and change it and if you haven't checked it for a while go through it and some of the things you might not care about anymore And some things you may need to add and the second thing which is really important alongside this and Darren Hardy talks about this And I've said this to many people as well So you have that list written down and then you need to think to yourself am I the person that I need to be to attract that person because a lot of time you're not gonna be that person that you need to be to attract your ideal dream partner. So go through that list of what you've written down and just ask yourself the questions, am I this thing or am I that thing? And just think to yourself about how you can grow and evolve to become that person that you need to be to attract that ideal dream partner. It's as simple as that with that one, which it can take quite a long time for you to become the person that you need to be to attract that most amazing person to form the most healthiest conscious intimate relationship with because there's quite a few people that will write the list down and they are not those things themselves and then it's just like you're sending something out with like law of attraction where you have like two magnets that are pushing each other away so if you've written that list down and you're not attracting the ideal dream partner that you're looking for that could be one of the reasons why and number three is you need to have faith and belief like i said within yourself, and number three, which I talked about briefly a moment ago on one of the other things that I'd already talked about in this video, and that is that you must believe completely within yourself and have faith in something higher than yourself that you can attract the most ideal dream partner for you. Because if you do not, you are gonna have things within your subconscious mind that is going to be working with the law of attraction and stopping you from attracting your most ideal dream partner. So this is something that you need to be very mindful around. And as we all know, belief is everything. So if you've got that list written down and doing all the other things that I mentioned to attract your ideal dream partner, but you completely believe that you cannot attract them and they're not out there whatsoever, you're never gonna attract them. It is impossible. You are working against the law of attraction. And then a lot of people could say, well, I haven't attracted them. I'm doing all the other things that you've mentioned or I've done the things similar, but they're missing out this factor. So remember, your mind is powerful and it can either create what you want or what you don't want. So be very careful around this. And number four, which no one ever taught me this, this is just something that I believed within myself and it just makes complete sense to me and my intuition, also my gut feelings as well. When you're wanting to attract the most ideal dream partner for you, do not go about your life at all trying to force it to make it happen. Because if you're going about your life and you're like, I need this and I want it so much and you're trying to force it and you're in a rush for it and not being patient, most of the time, what is gonna happen, and I found this time and time again, you start attracting people that may seem like they're the most idle dream partner for you and then it turns out that they're not. And as I say to anyone, you should never force love either. If you go looking for love in the wrong places and you're forcing it, you are more than likely going to attract the wrong person. And the universe wants to make you aware of that by you finding those types of people and then you're working out that they're not. And then it starts to make you aware of what you should be doing and ideally not be doing when you're looking for the most ideal dream partner for you. So go about your life, be working on yourself on a regular basis, start becoming the best version of yourself and improving your life as well as much as you possibly can. Start living your life from more of your heart rather than your head, let your head follow your heart. And I'm telling you, if you just go about your life 
and believe you have faith, this is what I always said to myself, which is, when the time is right, the right person will come along at the right time, out of nowhere, and when it happens, I will just have this feeling within myself that I know that it is the dream partner that I've been wanting to attract. So patience is the absolute key and not forcing whatsoever and just knowing that it's inevitable that you will attract the right person and number five is that you need to be making sure that you are getting out in the world if you're someone that's doing all of these things and you're standing indoors you're not really socializing whatsoever in the right types of circles to meet people that could be the potential ideal dream partner for you and you're just sitting indoors hiding away being isolated good luck trying to attract the most ideal dream partner for you. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the chances are way, way less. So that is something that you need to be conscious around. So what I'd recommend for this one is try and find certain meetups that you can go to, whether it's through Facebook events or meetup websites. And also just find any ways that you can possibly go out and socialize with people or go to places where you know the type of people that may be in alignment for you and that may be a place that you could find the most ideal dream partner for you. So for me, I'm really into veganism. So I've been to a lot of vegan festivals and vegan events. I'm into fitness as well. So I go to a lot of different gyms and try and connect to people that are into fitness. I'm also into health. So going into places where healthy people hang out, such as healthy restaurants and also health-based events and festivals. And these are just some of the ideas that I can give you that I have personally done myself to find the right people that could be the right people for me to potentially find the most ideal person for me to form the most amazing intimate relationship with that would be my dream partner to form that with. And last but not least, which I think is a very important factor, is first off, make sure that you are surrounded by people that are the best people for you to be around, that are really compatible with you and that you have deep connections with that are not necessarily intimate, full on sexual relationships, but people that bring out the best in you and that you just have really good friendship with and not people that are negative and pessimistic and bring you down instead you just want people that make you feel the most alive and that you just love to speak for for hours and hours and hours and you just feel so good around them and after you've spent time around them which so many people have the wrong type of people around them which is absolutely fine but as you know it's not going to make you feel the happiest possible it can be a drain on your energy and it just doesn't make you feel really good which we've all done this at some point in our lives and some people are obviously doing this now that are watching this video so be very aware of your environment with the people that you're putting yourself around because you will become the people that you spend the most time around so if you're surrounding yourself with people that not are under the criteria that I've just mentioned, then good luck trying to attract the most ideal dream partner for you. This is something to be very mindful around. So be very picky about who you are spending your time around. And if you haven't got the right people in your life currently at the moment, then I would just say be alone for a while and listen to certain influential people on YouTube and through audiobooks and read books and even you could go to conferences or talks and start to be very mindful around the environment around you and the people that you are listening to. And this is what I had to do on my own journey. I went in isolation for a while and sometimes spent time around certain people that were the most ideal people for me to be around and have friendships with. And then as I found over time with my own personal journey, I started to attract more and more people that are most ideal people for me to be around. And I only have the most amazing people in my life that bring out the best in me and that are just the most amazing people for me to have connections with due to so many different reasons. And this can be very hard for people to make the changes with what I have just mentioned and only surround yourself with the right people and get rid of the negative people in your life that are just pessimistic and not having a good effect on you whatsoever, except for them to get you into a state to realize what you want within friendships and what you don't. And then you can go in a direction of starting to choose the type of friends that you have in your life. They're the most best people to have friendships 
with. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you'd like me to make any more videos on relationships, let me know because I have a lot of experience with them, a lot of knowledge on them, and I've done so much research into how to form the most healthy, intimate, conscious relationships and make them be the most harmonious possible and the best relationships that you possibly can. And what I forgot to mention is when you start to surround yourself with the right type of people that are in line with you and that bring the best out in you, you're more than likely going to be environments with those type of people that are going to more than likely be people that you're around that go in certain different circles or where there could be someone that you could attract more than likely to be the most ideal dream partner for you to form the most healthy, conscious, intimate relationship that you desire. And yes, what I need to mention is once you've attracted the most ideal dream partner for you, you need to work out how you're going to get it to be the most healthy, conscious, intimate relationship and how to make it work short term and long term. Because if you attract the most ideal dream partner for you, but you haven't worked on your communication and relationship skills and not study things such as psychology, then most likely it's not going to last. If you want it to last, you need to really work on those things and do a lot of inner work and self-reflection and self development which I could talk about those specific things and many more things on those subjects on this channel if you're interested in them let me know down below so if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to learn about all the different steps that I have taken and learnt to attract the most ideal dream partner for me to form the most healthy, conscious, intimate relationship that I've been looking for for many, many years. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on relationships and achieving the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And also the life if that's what you desire. Like I have managed to, where I get to live the dream life that I have every single day with the most amazing, <laughs> intimate partner that just brings out the best in me and helps me have the most amazing human connection possible that I could with someone and the best life to share with them as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you do click the subscribe button down below and you do click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, make the most of your day, push yourself to your greatness and just have the best day ever. Peace.